Welcome to episode 1810 of the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley, and I honor you for giving yourself permission to slow down and connect to that best part of who you are. That's the part you tap into as you meditate, especially when you meditate consistently, you begin to notice you respond differently to stress. That's because you activate and develop the prefrontal cortex of your brain. And this is the part of your brain that allows you to reason and to pause when you experience stress. So when you meditate, you still experience stress. It's not as though, oh, you meditate and now you just don't seem to have any stressful days. You will experience stress as well as all the other range of emotions we experience as humans. But what you will notice is that when you're triggered by stress, you begin to respond in a much better way. And this can take place in as little as two weeks of consistently meditating for 10 to 15 minutes a day. And if you do this consistently for 60 days, you will have created new neural pathways in your brain. This is what research is revealing as there's more and more research being done on the benefits of meditation. Meditation has been around for over 5,000 years, so we know it must work if billions of people currently meditate and it's been passed down through millennia. So you are taking part in an ancient tradition that is being revived in our modern world. Well, today I welcome you to our second day of our Improving Relationship series. You will be focusing on improving relationships in your life all week long as you explore a different meditation technique in each episode, as well as insight to help you make sense of simplifying relationships in your life. I encourage you to choose one relationship in your life you'd like to focus on each day of this episode. We'll be exploring this theme for a full week, and in today's episode, you will discover as your meditation technique of the day, an affirmation. An affirmation is a powerful way to calm your mind and body. And it helps you to focus on your intention. So your intention this week is on improving relationships. One of the best ways to improve any relationship in your life is to listen. To listen and to hear. Because you can be listening to someone without really hearing them. Your mind may be wandering. You may be thinking about what you want to say next. Or you might be listening to yourself speak. You might not give others a chance to express themselves or to allow them to feel comfortable to express themselves. So your challenge this week, all week long, is to listen and hear with this one relationship in your life. Now, as I mentioned in yesterday's episode, I encourage you to focus on this one relationship in your life because once you begin to 
see some progress and to notice that you're gaining momentum with this relationship, then you begin to gain more confidence to apply these techniques and insight to other relationships in your life. And since this is part of a simplicity collection of meditation series, let's keep things simple. Focus on one relationship this week, and then of course, you can apply it to other relationships moving forward after your week is up. So listen and hear. Hear what people have to say. What is behind their words? Psychologists tell us that when people are not at their best in a particular relationship or when they're spiraling downward, it usually has to do with fear or self-doubt, which is fear. So when you notice the person you're focusing on this week not be their best, you might observe if they seem afraid or worried about something, you could even ask them if there's something bothering them or let them know that you are here to listen. Listening and hearing is one of the best gifts you can give anyone. So be fully present to listen and hear in the relationship you're focusing on this week. If you think of the person you're focusing on and you think, I would be happy to listen to this person, but why should I? I want to improve the relationship this week. That's why I've selected them to focus on. But they don't listen to me. You may find that as you listen to this person more, that they begin to listen to you more. They begin to notice you're listening to them. So they may reciprocate and listen to you. If this doesn't happen and the person seems oblivious to listening to you, you might point out to them that you are listening to them. Bring it to their attention. So don't wait for them to notice if they aren't noticing and you think they might not notice that you're listening to them. Point out, hey, I'm focusing on listening to you this week. I'm present, I'm here, and I'm listening to you. You may notice that the person feels a little honored that you're listening to them and they may begin to listen more to you as well. But even if they don't, for one week only this week, listen to this person. So now, as you get ready to settle yourself down to meditate, we'll practice this affirmation. And if you would like more guidance in this week's theme of improving relationships, you can try for two weeks free access to over 1,800 guided meditations, half-hour guided meditations on the Sip and Ohm meditation app. You receive extra tools to guide you through the week's journey. You receive a journal and a slow-down guide with valuable techniques customized for the week's theme. So again, this is at the Sip and Ohm meditation app. If you want to go a little more deeply into improving your relationships, for you now, settle down, getting ready to meditate. Visualize the person you're focusing on this week. And as you visualize this person, begin to notice how you feel 
when you think about them. Notice how you feel in your body. It could be a difficult relationship you're focusing on this week. You might feel yourself stiffen. You might feel uneasy. And if so, know that's okay. That's part of this process. It's part of your journey as you improve this relationship in your life. You may feel excited when you think about this person. You may feel a deep love or even reverence. Take it all in knowing that you have many different kinds of relationships in your life. This is just one of those relationships. And now visualize the person and visualize this person talking to you. You might even bring to mind the last conversation you had with this person. And Reflect on what they may have said. Really listen and see if you can recall what they said. If you can't, then simply visualize this person talking and expressing themselves and see if you can listen to the nuances they project. And as you do so, repeat, listen and hear. This is your affirmation for this week. Listen and hear. Three simple words. Listen and hear. Mentally repeat this as you visualize this relationship in your life. You are so worth slowing down for.